You know, there's a lot of things within the history of America that's been hidden from all of us, especially us within the black community. And if you allow this school system to educate you and not really educate yourself, you're not going to know much of anything. Now, there was a place called the Devil's Punch Bowl in Natchez, Mississippi. And this was a concentration camp for black people. America never speak about the concentration camp that they have for black people. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. Untouched fruit falls to the ground near the banks of the Mississippi River. They talk about there's the most beautiful wild peach groves uh, down in the punch bowl. And researcher Paula Westbrook says, like a peach, the area known as the Devil's Punch Bowl has a pit, a mass grave from the 1860s. Historians estimate that in one year, up to 20,000 freed slaves died in contraband camps below these bluffs. When the slaves were released from the plantations during the occupation, they overran Natchez. And the population went from about 10,000 to 120,000 overnight. So they decided to build an encampment for them at Devil's Punch Bowl, which they walled off and wouldn't let them out. Don Estes is the former director of the Natchez City Cemetery. I just put my own tombstone <laughs> right there. You see Estes? Learning history's been his life. He says Union troops ordered recaptured black men to perform hard labor. Straight down, right here. While women and children were all but left to die in the three punch bowl prisons. Disease broke out among them, smallpox being the main one and thousands and thousands died. They were begging to get out, turn me loose, and I'll go home back to the plantation, anywhere but there. But they wouldn't let them out. The Union Army did not allow them to remove the bodies from the camp. They just gave them shovels and said, bury them where they drop. And I'd really like to show you more of this terrain, but it's just too thick with greenery. These bluffs are also straight down, so not only is it dangerous to navigate, it's still very mysterious back there. It's a bed of alligators and snakes. Uh, it would take Indiana Jones to get back in there at this point. Then you come on up washing away bluffs and it, the devil's punch bowl that has so many people that no one knows how they got killed or when, and they're still down there wasted and even to this day they talk about wild peach trees that come up down there but no one in Natchez will eat them because they know what the fertilizer was when these people come up to you and act like they're the beacons of morality and you should imitate them and be more like them and say you're savage and you know you're inferior i understand something you have never did the things that these people have done now just imagine you are getting off the plantation of being treated like a slave. You're free. And because these union soldiers, not Confederate soldiers, union soldiers capture you men, women, and children put you in a concentration camp, put the men in one area, the women and children, in another area, the women and children were walled off with concrete walls and they were just left to starve and die women and children just evil demonic people then you had the men was put to so much hard labor that they was begging to go back to the plantation that's how bad it was and did you hear in one year 20,000 black people died and these demons just say oh, I was just bearing what they at but yet we can't get a dime for reparations for slavery for Jim Crow laws, for concentration camps, for bombing our churches, for destroying our towns like Rosewood, Black Wall Street and Tulsa, Oklahoma, and many other towns that these people have destroyed under the sanction of the sheriff, under the sanction of the governor. We don't get anything. But our so-called first black president, we'll put up a little picture up. He decides last year, kind of around this time, to earmark $12 million to Holocaust survivors, which the Holocaust didn't happen here, but yet he can do that and no one says anything. But when they have anything related to you, he, nobody can do nothing. How dare you bring that mess up? They can give money to Japanese. Don't say nothing about that to them and their heirs for what I read about that in the billions. 
and don't say anything. But you know. You see, you need to know your history to understand this country and also to understand where you're going and also so it does not repeat itself again. We as black people, part of the African diaspora, have suffered immensely. And everything that these people have done to us, the day is going to come where every part of that evil has to be judged. And that's why they lose in their country as they speak right now. And they can't understand why they wondering what's going on. They saying, we want to take our country back. We need Trump to come do it for us because it's been sanctioned for them to lose power in this nation. It's going to happen. Because when you look at atrocities like this, when you look at something from the pit of hell that happened to our brothers and sisters, you, they can't just keep going along and acting like everything is okay. And then when you bring this mess up to them, instead of them acknowledging it and saying, you know, this is some evil stuff and we need to fix this. No, they're going to justify it and say, I had nothing to do with it. They're going to justify it and say, you didn't go through that. So what are you complaining for? All the things that they will say to you out of their evil minds. But when you refer to them about they stuff and what they go through, how dare you say that crap? You're evil for saying that. You know, it's kind of quite funny how they are. That's why I tell y'all, don't take the word of these people. They don't mean no good to you. If you wouldn't take the word of the devil himself, why would you take their word? These white supremacists. But this is the things that we need to talk about within our history. We need to share this with our children. We need to let them know what our ancestors went through to get you to where even you're at today. So you can appreciate where you are today because those people that suffered and died, if they did not do that, if they did not go through all this stuff, maybe you wouldn't be where you're at today. And looking at stories like this should encourage you to fight even harder to make sure your people get free. Stop listening to these people when they tell you anything about your past or your present. I told y'all before, you need to put these people in their place and tell them to stay in their place in regards to what we got to do within our community. It just saddens me just to hear this story and just to imagine the pain and the horror and the suffering and the sickness and little kids just dying like that. I mean, it just, it just gets to you, but you know, if you're a human being, it will get to you. If you're a demon, well, you're going to make excuses for it. But I don't know. Let me know what you think about it in the comments about the devil's punch bowl and what our people went through. Share the video and let people know how our people were slaughtered in a black concentration camp. Like the video if you like the commentary and subscribe for more news stories.